so just a comfortable seat anywhere, probably on something new that was just put on the floor. Sit on that. Oops. Or sit on your cat, on your mat. Kittens everywhere. Find yourself a purr, if you will. Maybe flap your lips, which I can't do in this suit. <laughs> I can only do the throat purr. You can do the flap lip purr. Big breaths in the nose, out the mouth. We'll start on all fours, like witchy. This is Witchy. He's my co-teacher today. Do what Witchy does. I'll be like cats. Kitty <laughs> love. to play <sighs> with what it is to be alive in a body today, possibly in a silly cat suit. <sighs> Saturday morning cartoon yoga with kittens. Here we go. Sit on your haunches, haunches on your heels. Enor, can you give me more sound and more excitement? like the opening scene of the cartoons. Here we go. Getting it going. More you is what I really meant. Yeah, let's rock this thing. Okay, all the kittens are getting ready. Get a little rock going in your seat. Pull on your knees, inhale forward. <sighs> exhale back. Inhale forward in the nose, exhale back. <sighs> Let's begin to move into side bends. Bring the right hand outside your hip and inhale up and over and down. Swoop it back to center, inhale up and over. Other side, reach on through and round. Here we go, follow your breath. Inhale, open, exhale, swoop through center. Or pause, hands and knees, if you will. Uh, and inhale and open into cow, cow cat. And exhale, cat cat. With your breath. Inhale, right leg back, left arm forward. That's a lot. If it's too much, just do the leg. Watch out for the kitty. Exhale, curl. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Next 
then we stretch back, root into the outside of that foot and reach the top arm forward. Have your bottom hand a little forward of the shoulders, scoop that shoulder blade down. Inhale, reach open, exhale, swoop. With your breath, big arm vinyasa. Maybe catch a hold of that back foot, you know, if you want to, if you want to go big, going big today, see, wow, Wee. breathe your heart bright, inhale, stretch it out, back where you came from, and to hands and knees, and big hip circles, Other direction. Wow. And second side. And that left leg back. Right arm forward. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. <laughs> Stretch that leg back, root into the outside of that foot, top arm forward, bottom hands a little forward of the shoulder, scoop that shoulder blade down, follow your breath, big arm vinyasa. I think I'll go grocery shopping like this today. I feel safe, protected. Stay with those circles or pick that leg up. Stay there or put a bow on it. Squeeze your shoulders. Puff up your chest. Wow. Unwind when you're ready. Stretch it out. Come on back. Big hip circles. Other way. And come on back to center, hands and knees, hip circles, pick up one knee, big circles. Breathe it in the nose. Out the mouth, cat sounds optional and highly encouraged. Push that foot to the sky for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Knee to your nose, curl in, cross that foot over. Press the hips back to the heels. Rest or inhale, knee to the nose. Exhale, press on back. So that's shifting forward, pressing back if that's a lot for you, or just rest at the back. Big breath in the nose, soft jaw, soft tongue. Take your time as you're ready. Second side, left knee out to the side, big circles. Breathe in, switch directions, inhale, open.
inhale leg back exhale curl in knee to the nose lift and shift forward cross it over again pulse in and out of that or rest into it big breaths in the nose oh. back over your feet onto your seat just rolling around on the floor this morning being silly kittens just bring the arms out to the sides and the legs wide so you're rocking into one upper arm one thigh you can keep your head on the floor to do this you can even hug your knees in if you want or pick your head up, make it core work. Maybe pick your feet up a little bit more like a happy baby that you're rocking side to side, catching that with your upper arms. Again, head could be down to be more restful. Head is up to make more core work. Maybe roll on over. Take that backside foot into the front. You could just hang out here. Or press into that leg and rotate. Breathe. Or press into both feet. Stretch that top arm up, lift your hip up, reach it out, big breath. Stay there as you like, or you could exhale, push into that top thigh, spiral in as you let your hip drop down, navel back, squeeze all your breath out. Inhale, press into your feet, stretch that top arm out. Exhale, press into your thigh, dip the hip down, navel back, squeeze as you rotate, looking towards the earth. With your breath, maybe three more. Or maybe you're just hanging out watching on your side. That's okay to you. Oh, break it. Jit. Come on back down. Maybe spin it around. Cause here we go. Just rocking into the back. Massaging your back. Stay with that. Or Pick your head up, a little more core, let those elbows catch you. Pick your feet up. Stay with that, or roll it on over, second side, opposite leg on top. Again, you can just kind of hang out here and be beautiful. Wow like cats do. Wow. Let's give ourselves more permission to just hang out and be beautiful. Integrate our experience. Look at the world. Maybe somewhat judgingly, but not too much. Stay as you like or come on up. Shrug that shoulder up. Press into that top thigh. Stretch out. Side body as you maybe roll around a little bit there. Or if you're going for that big one, extend the bottom leg out, push into both feet, reach that top arm up, big side body stretch. There's your inhale as you lift that hip, exhale, press into the thigh, navel back, spiral in, follow your breath. Last one. Come on down. Back to your back. Let's take hold of the knees and just draw some circles around your sacrum. And then draw those circles both directions as inspired. 
stay with that or if you want to a little more core here just laying around on the floor hug your legs together inhale here at center and over to the side exhale as you press the feet away in a big circle out at center hovering over the floor pull in on your other side big circles keep the legs squeezed together as much as you can and draw with your heels big big circles use that exhale on the hardest part as you reach the legs away inhale to reset at center exhale about five more breaths Come on back to center. You could just hug in and pause, or as you're ready, other direction. Seven or eight breaths. And please stay with that as you like, or let's bridge up. Press into your heels, lift your hips, lower back, middle back, upper back, lift your chest, lift your chin. Exhale, ripple back down, upper, middle, lower, tail. Wow. And back up, follow your breath. Arms could stay open at the sides, or hands could reach up overhead on the floor. Lengthen that front body out. You could take a little pause there at the top and wiggle side to side. Reach through one knee and then the other. Oh. Stay up or exhale down. Inhale up. Arms could also be at the sides, robot arms. Work those shoulders on the back, puff the chest up. Articulate your spine, rippling up, rippling down with your breath. Here's some options. Yes, I can kind of see options. You could grab a block, put it between your thigh. The, for more core strength and alignment. Options. You could bring the block under your tail and just rest your sacrum on the block. Arms could wrap around. This could also be a pile of pillows or a bolster or something. So any of that super restful little back bend, more core strengthening little back bend. If you want to get real crazy with me this morning, big back bend, hands under shoulders, come to the crown of your head. Maybe that's it. Plug those shoulders in, claw your fingertips. Maybe you're pressing up, big back bend, big breaths. Stay as you like. Come on out as you like. Oh, put your block aside. Let's put all our blocks aside now, people. It's time to be free flowing here. No blocks. All right. And feet wide as your mat. Knees bent. Inhale, arms up overhead. Stretch and reach through both knees. Exhale, knees through center. Inhale, knees to the other side. Exhale, knees through center. Stretch it out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, through center. Moving with your breath, side to side. Please stay with that. 
If you're just coming on, please mute yourself. Thank you for muting yourself. But do meow and purr. With your feet as wide as your mat, knees bent. Both knees to the right, right ankle over your left thigh. Use the weight of that leg to draw the other one down. Stretch the arms up. Big breaths in the nose and out your mouth. Stay with that or you could reach down with your left hand and pull that foot in towards your seat. Got a little more stretch there. And take hold of that left arm up and over to your right. Breathe into all those sensational areas. <sighs> Please stay here as you like. Support yourself as needed. There should be no sharp knee pain or keep the setup of your legs and pick it up. Interlace the hands behind your bottom thigh. Pull it back as you ease the other thigh away. Soft jaw. And again, it's a nice place to just roll around on the floor a little bit. You can stay with this, squaring that top ankle and knee as much as you can. Or play with it. Extend the lower leg up, walk up that leg, curl into it. Maybe, maybe, maybe overhead. Please modify as it's right for you. Be where we started or find yourself a little kitty yoga variation. Oh, stay with any of that stretchy stuff or if you want a little more core here, interlace the hands behind your head. Inhale and as you exhale, pull that bottom knee back, sacrum off the floor, navel back, shoulders off the floor. With your breath, about nine more. Inhale to the earth. Exhale, shoulders and sacrum off the earth. Try not to pull your head. Keep the neck relaxed, head heavy. Stay with that as you like or land the bottom foot to the floor. And then cross body, top foot stands on the floor, bottom thigh, outer thigh is laying on the floor. You could just hang out here or meow, stretch that left arm up, right hand holds your head and exhale, reach the left arm past your right thigh. Pull that navel back as you squeeze the breath out, try to get the both scapula off of the earth. Inhale and open, exhale, reach. Come on, core work makes you happy. Do it. I promise you, you'll feel happier later. If you do it now, you might feel happy even right now or in the next minute or after these next three. Please continue as inspired or step your feet wide, knees side to side, big breaths. You can stay with that yummy side to side. Oh, breath, full body business, as long as you like. Or next time both knees come to your left. Cross that left ankle over your right thigh. Draw it down. Breath full here. Or add to it. Bring that bottom foot, your right foot, into your seat. There should be zero sharp knee pain. Don't do it if it hurts, please. Take hold of your right wrist up and over towards the knees. Side bend. Breathe into those sensational areas. Uh-huh, please stay here and be breathful or pick that bottom thigh up, interlace your hands, pull that bottom thigh back, interlace the hands behind that bottom thigh that is, pull it back, 
Use the elbow to ease the other thigh away. Pulling in as you press away, soft jaw, rock and roll around your sacrum. <sighs> Big breaths. Letting go breaths. <sighs> breathe your body. Ah, yeah, breathe your aliveness. Breathe your ability to be playful, silly, sensual today. Yes, spring, midday, Beltane, still going. Here we go. Stay as you are or mm -hmm, possibilities, options, maybe. You lifted that top uh, bottom leg up. Walk up that leg, curl into it, maybe. Curl it towards you. Maybe. Overhead towards the floor and breathe. Breathe all those yummy, stretchy areas. Yes, 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 yes. And feel free to stay with any of that stretchy stuff or unwind. All right, way. Keep the ankle over the knee. Active top foot. Inhale, hands interlace behind the head. And as you exhale, navel back, pull that bottom knee back, sacrum up, shoulders up. Inhale and open, exhale strong, navel back, squeeze, sacrum and shoulders up with your breath. Five more, keep your neck relaxed, try not to pull the head, just hold the weight of it. And stay with that as you like when you're ready. The rotated version. Take that top foot, same setup of the leg. Top foot cross body to the earth. Dance. And left hand holds your head. Right hand reaches past left thigh. Exhale, navel back, both shoulder blades up. Inhale, open, exhale, reach. belly. Meow, meow, meow. And make your legs strong. Stretch them straight back. Point through your toes. Push down through your sacrum and pubic bones strongly. Rest your head on the floor at first and let's just roll the shoulders. Squeeze the shoulders on the back, pull on the earth, elbows, shoulders down and back. Lift your navel, lift your heart, open cobra. Long back of the neck, lengthen your spine in both directions, press into the earth. Breathe to the sky, follow any exhale to come down. And the inhale to open back up. You could hold it, you could come in and out of it. It doesn't have to look anything like mine. It might be just push into sacrum, chest lifts a bit, and lowers back down. Push into sacrum, chest lifts, and lower it back down. Few more breaths, holding at your edge, or breathing to your edge. Fluid spine. Next time you come down, elbows wide, fingertips under the elbows. Roll the shoulders up, inhale up, and exhale, roll the right shoulder down. Turn, look over the left shoulder. Inhale, open, exhale, spiral round. Follow your breath. that going as you like or again very strong press into your sacrum here 
Let's come into Sphinx Pose. We're ready for this one, aren't we? Elbows under the shoulders, forearms forward, hands in line with elbows. Pull back, work the shoulders on the back, push into your sacrum, lift your navel, lift your crown. Your ears, yes, sure. Breathful here or inhale here, toes under. Exhale, lift from your navel. Strong core. You could hold this another five breaths or so. Or inhale, lower down, pull on the earth, shoulders on the back, press into pubic bone and sacrum. Big breath as you exhale. Lift up, forearm plank. Follow your breath, inhale, open. Exhale. Take your time. Next time you come down, spin that right arm across the front of your chest, elbow forward of the shoulder, and pull on that forearm, shoulder blade down the back, lengthen out. Push strongly into your sacrum, pubic bone, bend the left knee. Reach back for that left ankle or foot if you can, and square the chest forward. Press, resist, little isometric action with this hand foot seat connection here. Push in, resist, push in, resist, push, resist, hand foot, hand foot, and then release the resistance, maybe foot closer to your hand. Uh, uh, seat, if that's all easy for you, you could extend that right arm out and press up. If it's still easy, lower back down, pull the hands closer in and press up, breathful. <sighs> So sensational! <sighs> Give it some sound. Sigh it out. Let it move. Stay as you like when you're done. Unwind. Give your knee a little roll around. Shake out your hips. And second side, Sphinx Pose, shoulders down the back, press into pubic bone, legs are strong and active. Inhale, lift navel, long spine as you're ready. Left elbow, left forearm comes across the body, press in there, pull on the earth, lengthen the spine, bend the back knee, reach for the ankle or foot. Again, little isometrics here, so press, resist, press, resist, and play with that and release the resistance. Maybe get a little closer to your seat there. Play with that as you like, or again, that bottom arm extends out. You could push into the hand to come up a little higher. Engage the navel so we don't dump into the back here. Push into your pubic bone to support the lift. Stay there if you've got more space. Again, lower down, pull the hand in, press up, breathe here. Wherever your breathful edge is, maybe a little lift of the corners of your mouth. Yeah. Ah, stay easy like when you're done, come down. Give that knee a little spin, little hips a little shake. Ah. And let's go into the shoulders here, just laying around on the floor this morning. Extend the right arm, catacorn, out to the side, paw down, press into your left fingers, and step the left foot behind your right knee. Stay there, pressing into those front fingers, work the shoulder on the back. Maybe bring your paw to your lower back, back side of your paw. Press in, shoulder on the back, breathe. <sighs> Stay there, or bend that, uh, reach for that top ankle or foot and kick back towards the bottom hand. Lift your heart. <sighs> Relax the neck and your jaw. <sighs> ah, silly sounds encouraged on Saturday morning cartoon kitty roll around the floor yoga. Ah. 
thank you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Uh, thank you, buddy, for all that you're holding, all the miracles that have happened, for all that you're moving through, all the miracles that continue to happen. Roll your shoulders out, back to your belly, roll it out. When you're ready, second side, extend that left arm out to the side. Step the right foot behind your bottom knee. Stay there. Front fingers can push on the earth. Work that top shoulder on the back. Or rest the back of your paw on your low back. Press in, shoulder on the back. Ah, that's a great place. Or maybe reach for that top ankle or foot and kick it back towards the bottom hand. Puff up your chest with breath. Big breath in the nose. Ah, breath out your mouth. your shoulders roll both shoulders out open up cobra inhale exhale back child's pose rest in child's pose or play rippling child's pose knees chest chin open up cobra exhale back child's pose ripple through knees chest chin open up cobra or again you're resting in child's pose can't even believe this thing's staying on Couple more rounds of breath. Ripple on back through. Interlace your hands on your sacrum, push it down. Squeeze and lift elbows and shoulders to the sky and then pull your hands up and back towards where ceiling and wall meet. Lifting the navel. Squeeze the legs, lift your legs up, fly the arms back, maybe fly them forward. Hold. Or breathe in and out of it. Maybe switch sides, legs down, chest up, chest down, legs up. Chest up, legs down. Chest down, legs up. Moving with your breath. Now you could play with anything here that we just did or that's inspired. Or open up into Cobra. Lower halfway, bend the knees. Reach back for your ankles or feet. Kick the feet back, squeeze your shoulders on the back, lift your chest. Maybe inhale, kick open. Exhale, let the knees bend, melt down. Inhale, kick the feet back, open up, big breath. Exhale down with your breath. Or hold at your edge. Or kick over to one side. Core, come on back. Oh. Kick open center. Kick open to the other side. Oh. And back to center. Play as you like. Blah, blah, blah. and press back 
into child's pose. Holding steady in child's pose. To relieve the low back a little bit, you might hold one wrist with the other paw. Breathe your low back. Breathe your connection to earth. Simply breathful, purring, humming, bee's breath, brahmari, as you like. Suffocating and out of breath. Please stay as you like or inhale here. Exhale, right foot forward. Rest your chest on that front thigh. Rest your shoulder, rest your head. And just a turning in lunge. Oh, feeling into all the sensations. Stay here or stay resting on your leg and take yourself for a little kitten ride by extending leg back, hips back, chest stays as connected as you can, spread those toes out, drag your heel back and you could stay in either shape or follow your breath, inhaling into the lunge, exhaling back extension. You might inhale that pose, pull the heel back and exhale transition. Inhale, resting in the lunge. Exhale, transition. Inhale, stretch out that drag, hips back, and exhale. Inhale, the lunge. So resting in either pose, playing with either pose, or pulse between them. If you want a little more action here, you could turn back toes under. Lift the back knee, you may need blocks here now or something to rest the hands on. Pulse with your breath. that or squeeze your inner thighs open that top hand face chest to the sky lay back maybe that's it right there maybe reach back arm vinyasa back knee could stay down again if you want to go bigger come up onto those front fingertips back knee up squeeze the inner thighs together hug into strong core so you're very light on that bottom hand stay there or arm vinyasa hip stretch open heart reach back neck stretch heavy bottom ear please stay with any of that as you like or hands or forearms inside the front leg back knee could be down if you need or keep it up and just rock and roll around here big breaths in the nose out your mouth Stay as you like there. If you want to go deeper in the hips, bring the right hand around the back of that ankle, left hand around the front. Press into the ankle and curl in. Try to get your shoulder under that leg. <sighs> back knee could be down, more mellow. Back knee up, lots of space there. Great unwinding from the back bend. 
stay here, play here, or we're going big just for a moment here, kiddies. And hands wide, scoot that front foot forward, tuck your other elbow in and shift. Maybe one, maybe pick both feet up. And through a vinyasa, or rest, child's pose. Simply restful in child's pose, or again, bees breath, Brahmari. back as you exhale come on forward left leg in lunge resting on that thigh turning in turning in heavy head soft jaw melt deep into that front knee while you extend hips back straight in the front leg spread the toes out drag your heel back without moving it pull the hip back and moving with your breath lunge extension as you like or if you did on the other side back knee up go bigger the back knee down pause as needed squeeze those inner thighs together and open left hand face chest to the sky reach it back arm vinyasa again staying with that or if you are so inspired back knee up squeeze in strong core very light on those bottom fingers scoop the shoulders down the back lift your heart Reaching back, heavy left ear as you stretch out, heavy right ear that is, as you stretch out the left side of your neck, heart, neck, side body, oh, so much goodness there. as you like or bring both hands or forearms down inside that front leg back knee up if you can down as needed to be breathful big breaths in the nose out the meows back knee down to set up left hand behind that ankle right hand around the front push into that ankle and tuck in like you're gonna curl under your leg not forcefully please just visiting leaning in hello maybe back knee up nice counter pose to back bends there 
you're checking things out or knee as high as you can on your shoulder, hands as wide as the shoulders, maybe a little wider. Scoot that front foot forward, hug the right elbow in and shift forward. Maybe bring the back foot up into the core, hold steady. Rest or transition through a vinyasa. Ah, back to child's pose. Big breaths in the nose, out the meows. Meow. Oh, letting go breaths. Maybe you're holding your wrists on your low back. Let the weight of the arms just give you a little comfort there. Breathe your low back. Breathe your connection to the earth. Just chill out a moment here. like or this uh, roll on over to so lie on your back and similar to how we begin here hug your knees in strong hug of the legs arms open to the side this is optional you could take any yummy gentle rolling around on the floor kind of twist or you may have sensed a bit about the core work in this rolling around on the floor. So you might extend the legs to one side here. Inhale center. As you exhale, try to keep the square ankle knee hip set up and pull the navel back, knees to the side. Inhale center. Exhale, pin the shoulders. Root those shoulders down. This is shoulder and core work. Yes, you need it. Inhale center. Exhale to the other side. <sighs> Do a little reversal to the damage of sitting in chairs or couches at computers. <sighs> Inhale, open, center, exhale, <sighs> navel back. If you want to challenge that a bit, keep squeezing the legs together, but extend the top leg as you move to the side. Really pin the shoulders down. You could hold that or just go with the breath. Inhale through center, exhale, <sighs> engage the navel back. a lot but kind of nice you could have one leg down and just send the other leg across and if you're done with all the core work well good for you that's just fine here we go if you're done extend both legs over to one side those could be knees bent or top leg could go straight out bottom leg could go down stay with that or maybe get all twisted in your root here and reach down for the bottom foot kick through both feet roll open so any twist legs to one side head lifts and turns to the other side rest on that ear big rinse water breaths in the nose out the meows. <sighs> Breathe your body. Deep, full breaths. Breathe out weird and wonderful of the world. <sighs> All else we may be experiencing, there is that. So much wonderful, so much weird. Beautiful, beautiful weird. What a world, what a world. And as you're ready, second side. <sighs> Turn it into any twist that's right for you.
turn as far as you can onto that ear, looking away from the top leg. And breathe your twist. Your breath is rinse water here. Sigh it out, sing it out, laugh it out, cry it out. Just get it out though. Don't let anything be stuck in your beautiful body. Keep it moving. Big breaths in. Ah, let it go. Get it out. Ah, ah. Please stay as you like. When you're ready, unwind. Come on back to center. Give your inner kitten or outer kitten a big, big hug. Curl into yourself. Gather up. Oh, thank you, body. Thank you, body. Thank you, thank you, body, for the millions of miracles that have happened today just to get us here. Thank you, body. And you could just simply rock into that. Or happy baby, happy kitten. Hold on to your ankles or the tops of your bottom paws, your feet paws, and pull the knees down as you push your heels to the sky. Pull your sacrum down as you work the lower back up, and then maybe rock that kitten side to side, one knee down, and then the other. Breathe it, maybe extending one leg out, and then the other. that kitten as long as you like or listen to your body see what else you need maybe feet together knees wide hands hold your ankles feet and knees drop heavy heavy away from you and slowly turn your head to one side and breathe your neck there as the shoulders get pulled down stay with any of that you like or feet together knees wide rest you could rest with your hands under your thighs, or you could put some blankets or blocks or pillows or stuffed kittens under your thighs. Wow. Yeah, that's good. <sighs> Deep, full breaths in the nose, right to wherever any sticky is in your body and out your meow. time 
kitty yoga thing. If you do meows in circles, they turn into ohms. That's what I'll be doing now till the end. Look to I love yous together, make a heart with a diamond, diamond heart mudra. <coughs> Here's your meowsition. Meowsition. Hello. Do you want to say hi to everybody? It's Enor. You couldn't tell because the glasses, I know. Meow. We love you. Um, if you want to stay in chat on the Zoom, you're welcome to. Otherwise, live streaming world. Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> 